Welcome to the second half of the PS2 Model 80 memory upgrade. In this video, we're going to do the reference disk installation portion. Um, we've already installed the new memory card, and there it is in the bottom. And uh, here we go. Pop the reference disk in. Flicker on. Instantly, we get an error 216. The massive hard drive spin up. That's cool. If we're lucky, this error is a detrimental error. I don't have my my guide here to to see what that error really means. I think it's a memory error, but I'm not really sure. I guess we'll find out, won't we? It's not doing anything. It should be beeping at me or something. Come on. I don't like what I see. It says, well, I mean, I know I'm supposed to get the error code, but I don't know. I'm not really sure about that. It should be trying to seek the reference disk at, and it's not doing that. What I need to do is refer to my system owner's manual and um, see if maybe there is a slot for that other 72 pin module. I think it's a 72 pin. It looks pretty big for a 30. Anyway, where is that? This is the package that came with the machine when I unboxed it, and it includes, among other things, a quick reference guide, and some information on operating memory in the PS2. I've been thinking about sending in this business reply mail. I have two of these. I might send one of them in. Hey, what's this? Oh, that's just a, a sales invoice for the machine. <laughs> That was new. Let's look at this quick reference guide and see what it says. This has never been opened, by the way. Brand new. Who the fuck it? Still stuck at an error 216. While we're here, why don't we just Google the error? And make sure it's the correct error. Believe it or not, there is a right and wrong error. And, uh,. PS2. Error 216. What do we got? 216. Where is that? Two, one. System board memory failure. Great. Okay. Where do we see the section on upgrading memory? See, right now it's not even looking for the goddamn disk. Alright. There should be a board layout here. I'd rather just look at this than take the whole thing apart and find out that there is or isn't one. <laughs> Memory Expansion Kit Installation Use these instructions to install the Memory Expansion Kit on the system board. For installing on the adapter, go to page 25. We're installing on the adapter, so on 25. Expansion slots are numbered 1 to 8 on the rear of the system unit. If the adapter must be installed in a specific expansion slot, use the following info to determine where to install it. 
And we're installing it in an 8041, I think. 80111. Hear that thing also? That thing is loud, man. I don't think I have to ins install it in a specific. Hmm. Alright, here's what we'll do. Let's take that adapter back out. put it in the right slot. I mean, I don't know why, why it would matter, but as long as it's the right, there's this, I believe it's this 32-bit slot that I need. I'm going to take out that additional 2 megabyte module. Maybe that's causing a problem because I didn't follow the guy's instructions exactly, so. And J2 is where it belongs. J3, yeah, that's where it is. All right, so let's try it now. I mean, my system board memory expansion card is, I mean, this installs correctly, isn't it? I guess we'll find out. We're already at six minutes. Damn it, I hate these stupid 10 minute, 10 minute length problems. Ah, bitch. Okay, there we go. Let's try it now. Error 216. Okay. Let's take out the existing module. See if that changes anything. Error 216. Okay. Alright. Let's try it now. Ooh. I think I got it. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. I got rid of the error message. I think I put my system board memory in the wrong slot. In those days, it actually mattered. Now it doesn't, but it did back then. So I put my my uh, system board adapter, uh, the two megabyte module that came with the system, took it out, put it back in the wrong damn slot. Now you know, it matters. Okay this all back together. See what's going to happen. Just adding it up. We've already got more. Okay, here we go. We've got two megabytes. But that's okay. Because the card isn't technically installed yet. Reference disk at 165. What does that error translate to? 165. Mem yeah, system options not set. Run setup. Press enter to continue. Adapter configuration error. Automatically configure the system. Yes. Here we go. This is gonna this is gonna make or break this. I tried to download the updated version from the link that it, um, he sent me. Okay, it's complete. Press enter to continue. So, let's see what happens. It's only detecting two megabytes, so I'm going to run the diagnostic utility now because I'm a little concerned that it's not working properly. Well, looks like we're going to go into a third video on this one, so stay tuned. Oh, hold on. Come on. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, it's adding up the additional memory. Well, I'm going to do another video, and uh, 
see how it performs. Stay tuned.